Brake color was red, and I was thinking about painting my rotors black where it's rusted at. And I'll be painting them while they on the vehicle. It's just gonna be a quick paint job. I just want to take you through the steps of me doing it, and this is just a walk around before I start on it. I'll pull it back out once I finish, I'll give you another look. take the wheels off the wheels off these are 22's and the tire size are 225 30 or 22's let me take you on the inside and show you what I got going on here's the back I started looking I think I'm just gonna spray paint the rotor See, I can rotate it. It'll be easy. I'm going to spray paint that after I paint the caliber. I'm going to use automotive paint on the caliber. I'm just going to spray paint the rotor. Let me show you the front. And the front going to be the same way. Now what we'll do, we'll start cleaning these bad boys up. On the front, it's going to be pretty easy because I can turn the wheel to one side. When I get through doing this side, I can turn it to the other side. But the back, we're just going to have to do what we can. But I got to turn it all the way to this side so I can get the back of it and the sides. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use some oven cleaner. You can use some brake cleaner, but I'm going to use this oven cleaner because I already had some. And I'm just going to spray it over all this here then I got some dish detergent and a rag and a brush we're just gonna go to town with it take my brush and start scrubbing it clean get all that grit and grind off of it take my sprayer and rinse it off all right 
right, once everything dry, you want to take your maroon scotch bright. It's the 7447 scotch bright. Just scuff up everything that's going to be painted. I'm also going to hit the rotor. Because I'll be spray painting this. Let's get up in here. Let me finish up, then I'll cut you back on. I just blowed everything off to remove all the dust. I also took this piece here off. I'm going to paint this separate. And I started to think how I was going to paint these. The first I was going to paint the calibers first. And then mask the caliber up and paint the rotor. But I started to think I might need to paint the rotor first. Just paint all I can. Because once I paint the caliber, I'm going to get some paint on the rotor from up in here. I can easily turn it and respray it black because it ain't, it's just going black. So I'm going to paint the rotor first. I think that'll be the best idea. And I'll be using this rust protector semi gloss. I got it from Walmart. I think it was $4 and something a can. And I'll just be spraying. Even if I get some right here, it don't matter because it'll come right off once I hit the brakes a couple times. But I'm going to try not to get it on it. Even though some gonna get on it, I'm just gonna try to stay away from it. Paint done dry, so we'll start masking everything off to paint the brake caliber. Mainly, I'm gonna put some up in here. Also back here. I don't know if you can see it. See how I got that mask on the bleed screw? I just took the little cover off, put it to the side, mask up the brake line and the tip of the bleed screw. Got the masking done on this side here. I just took about four Walmart bags and pieced them together. But I think it's gonna work out well. Now I just turned around so I can do the other side. Finish masking everything off. Also with the floor down though, where I be spraying that because I'm so low to the floor. I want that old spray, that air that hit the floor and knock that dust up. Also mask the car off, cause that old spray get everywhere. But if I was spraying with some spray cans, I wouldn't have to do all this. But I'm spraying with a spray gun, so better safe than sorry. I just gotta wet the floor down over here. Then I'll be good to go. I'll be shooting my primer first. Then I'll shoot my red.
this two coat Suprema. Take it to the back. Show you the back. Let me show you what base coat I'm gonna use. It's the Uri Kim flaming red base coat. I already got it mixed up. Two coats of the Eurocam Flaming Red. Ready for the clear now. Finished up with the clear. I put two coats. Well, it's actually more than two coats because I made a lot of different passes with each coat. It's probably about five with all the passes I made with the clear. But it was two runs of clear. Now I gotta let this dry. When it dry, I unmask it. Then I do my touch-ups because I slide my rotor back that way because I know it got red on some parts of the rotor. And I repaint that black. Then I put the wheels back on. 
Give you another look at it. Unmask this side here. Now I slide the rotor around and respray this here. got these BMW performance decals that I'm going to put on the brake calibers. I was going to put them on and clear coat over them, but they never made it in time, so I'm just going to stick the decals on. I'm going to put the big one on the front. I should have enough room on the back for the small one. So let me take care of that. Stop right from the bottom to the top from the